Hello, how's it going? This is just another one of my very short dispatches from Uzbekistan. Today I am in Samarkand. It's 300 kilometers from the other place, Tashkent, and we came on a speedy train this morning. We'd get up at uh, the crack of dawn and be at the station for half six, and it was bananas and really, it felt really exotic and farting. Now I want to show you things I bought. I bought these here. Choco pies at the station. I haven't ate one yet because I'm almost I'm almost too excited to go near it, you know. And then we came to Samarkand. Now Samarkand is only six hundred thousand people, and you know, like the name, so kind of oh, dreamy Samarkand. Oh, Samarkand, fabulous ancient city and all of that. And there are like beautiful ancient old bits and all, but it feels like a real party town to me. Like it's. It's like young fellas driving around in cars. And I don't mean this in a bad way, although it might sound like it. It sort of has a bang of Tijuana off it. And you know, he himself is laughing now because we had a really miserable weekend in Tijuana once. We were meant to be there for the whole weekend and we came home after 12 hours. But look, that's another story. But there's a cat. No, it's just really kind of young and vibrant and a bit kind of, a bit mildly wild, do you know? Like in a really nice way. And like it's gone on for 10 o'clock at night and uh, everyone is sort of still out. And we had the most fabulous dinner and it was in somebody's house in his courtyard and his wife made the food. And it just felt like so, such an honor to be to be in, in their house, eating their lovely food. And everything is dirt shape. Now I have to show you something else. So we were in the market earlier and there was all these like beautiful ceramic paintings and plates and things. And then all these lovely woven rugs and wall hangings. And, uh, and then I saw this. And it was what my heart desired more than anything. And uh, I didn't speak any Uzbeki and hello. <laughs> and the man didn't speak any English, but we spoke the international language of he was like, you're a complete effing loon, aren't you? And I'm like, yes, I am a loon and proud of it. Now may I have my funny furry cat, owl, whatever it is. And he was like, grand so. And then we were all delighted. And now somebody is smiling with a little girl. Everyone is so lovely. You have no idea. Everyone is so lovely. Everyone is just so, so lovely. I haven't been to a chemist yet. And there are millions here and sort of doctors things on the shop streets do you know what i mean with all ads and things sick come on in we can fix you and tomorrow I, I have to go tomorrow just because i have to go because i really want to so i will keep you posted but it is mad and strange and fabulous and beautiful and challenging and a honor and all the lovely things and now i have a cash